crafting on a budget. Today's video, I have gotten so many requests to do a project using the larger crates. Dollar Tree does not carry the larger crates, but you can find them at Walmart for $3.47 a piece. So today's project is that of a large crate DIY that I came up with that I absolutely love. It superseded how I thought it was going to turn out and it turned out amazing. In today's video, I'm going to be making a coffee table using the larger crates. I wish I would have had this idea way back when, when I needed a coffee table because I would have done this, used it, loved it, and been totally happy with it. I am super excited about this piece that I came up with. So let's get to it and let me show you what all you need for this DIY crate coffee table. For this project, I picked up four of these large crates from Walmart for $3.47 a piece. I also picked up some black zip ties at Walmart for 97 cents for this 20 pack. Heading on over to Lowe's, I picked up a three foot by two foot piece of plywood for $4.47. I also picked up four nuts and bolts at the price of 34 cents a piece. These measure out at one and three quarter inches long by a quarter inch wide. I'll also be using some black flat paint that I already had on hand. I also made a quick stop at the Dollar Tree and picked up three rolls of this decorative contact paper and two of the large black collapsible organization bins. So let's get to it and let's put this crate coffee table together because I think you're gonna like it as much as I do. Starting this project off, I'm gonna take the plywood that I picked up from Lowe's in the measurements of three feet long by two feet wide and using my Dollar Tree contact paper, I'm gonna cover this piece of plywood. I'm noticing that my plywood does have some splinters on it. So before I apply the contact paper, I'm gonna take my sanding block that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna run over the top of this, just getting the splinters off of the plywood. Now I'm gonna apply the contact paper. Now what I'm gonna do when I'm applying this contact paper, because the edge here, I don't want the seam to show so much, and I bought four rolls of contact paper, I'm gonna take and unroll my contact paper, and I'm gonna try and line up the flowers with each other so it is less noticeable that there's a seam. Alrighty, so I have got the front covered. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna flip my plywood over. I am done pulling the sides over and adhering them to the back. We've got this plywood here that is exposed still, so I'm gonna take the excess contact paper that I had from the front and I'm gonna put it on the back to cover up this plywood so it's not visible. I'm not too worried about the lines and the seams matching up on the bottom because it's not gonna show. I just don't want any of the plywood exposed. Using my Walmart flat black spray paint, I'm gonna take and spray paint the top of my bolt with this black spray paint. Again, this is a quarter inch wide bolt by one and three quarter inches long. I paid 22 cents for the bolt and 12 cents for the nut. Now taking my zip ties, I typically don't like putting crates together with zip ties. But in this case, because these crates are the base of a coffee table, I feel like this would be the more secure, reliable way to make sure that these four crates stay together. I did pick black so it won't be noticeable. I'm going to start with two crates and I'm going to put them back to back. So I'm going to take and I am going to just feed my zip tie through both holes back to back and just tighten it. I'm gonna do two on the top inside and two on the bottom inside. You can see here that you can lift them up after zip tying them and they are not going to come apart. And looking inside the crate, I did one here, I did one here, and I did one at the bottom here 
and another at the bottom here, giving us four zip ties holding these two crates together. Now I'm just gonna snip off the excess plastic from the zip tie. So you can see inside the crate that you can barely even see the black zip ties holding them together. I'm gonna repeat this process with these two crates as well. I've got both sets of crates securely zip tied together. Now what's left is to secure them this way as well. And I'm gonna do that by zip tying them. Our crates are together. We are almost done. I'm going to replace my plywood to the top and I'm gonna line up the plywood exactly where I want it, making sure that it is even on both sides. This piece of plywood is 48 inches long. So the center is gonna be 24. I wanna line up the 24 inch mark where both crates come together. That'll be your middle. Here on the corner of all four of the crates is a nice spot that I'm gonna drill into through the plywood to place the four bolts. Taking my Sharpie, I'm gonna take and place a mark on the top of my tabletop showing where I wanna drill through the plywood and the plastic crate. Using my 3 8 drill bit, this is the closest size I have to my nut and bolt. I am gonna drill through the plywood and the plastic. And look at that, there you have it, a crate coffee table. And if you really wanted to, you could pick up these collapsible storage containers from the Dollar Tree. They've got black ones. This is the large size. It measures out in 10 and a half inches by 11 inches wide. You can take this storage container and slide it right into the crate, giving you storage in all four crates. And isn't that stinking awesome? I absolutely love this. These collapsible storage containers are awesome inside of these crates. You can store things in here, people aren't seeing what you're storing, or you can just leave it empty and you can store books in there if you'd like, magazines if you'd like. I like using these collapsible storage containers because I think it adds just a bit of something to the table. Before I wrap this video up, I'd like to show you how durable and how sturdy this crate table is. Picking it up on both sides, I can literally shake this thing. It's not going anywhere. I am sitting on this table and it is holding my weight just fine. Well everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this DIY crate coffee table. This coffee table turned out amazing. Not only could it hold the weight of me sitting on it, but you could pick it up and it was light, it was easy to move, it came with storage, and it makes for easy cleanup and wiping down using the contact paper to cover the plywood. And you can easily change the top of this crate table as needed for decor purposes. Please give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my PO box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture and send it to me on Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now. Everybody.